Hey guys, welcome back to Tales. I did a little bit of shopping. Uh, I found a thing called a fatigue ring, right? So here we go. Fatigue ring. Effect, fatigue reduced by 40%. That sounds pretty good, right? So we're going to master this. Definitely master this skill. Get this skill because that's going to be very, very important. We also need to upgrade it as well because the fatigue attack damage is down by 20% as well, which is great. That's a great. Sounds like a great thing. Sounds like good stuff because I'm always complaining about running out of juice. So I'm assuming that's what that means, fatigue-wise as well. So we'll just assume that that's that's that that is that, and I'm correct. That was Kamala. Oh shit! What's the issue? See, there we go. That's more like it. Kamala. That's more like the headless knight. is a promise sweetheart a headless knight and a horse demon a he horse demon is also pretty headless that's, that's a pretty fucking badass design I like that that's really process. nice oh I get it the dying exorcist lady wasn't saying headless knight is back she was going for headless knight on horseback whatever the case We'll fight whoever we means, have to claim right. this island. I'm not sure if that's really important right now, Magalu. But that's good. Right, let's deal with this. Alright, we got more juice. That's all that matters. You know, we're going straight into a... Oh, shit. Stun. Straight into a stun. Let's go straight into a uh, special, shall we? See if we can knock him down right away. No? No knockdown? Uh, well. Makes sense. He's on a horse. Oh my! Oh, he's taking all my juice. Oh, there he is. Down. Who did that? Fucking did that. Oh no! Come on. Who did that? Uh, all right, Magalu. I need you to switch to Lassie Pet. When you get a sec, please. Oh, you've not even got. You've not even got a thing. Oh, Fucking Magalu. Save up a point already. I need you to switch to the last fight so I can get these heals in. Get these sweet heals. Uh, I'm gonna come over here. I'm just gonna heal myself. <laughs> just gonna heal the fuck out of myself. There we go. Look, I did it to myself. Wait, what the fuck was that? That didn't heal me very much. What the fuck? That didn't heal me very much at all. That was a peace gel, right? Here's one ally by 50%. Yes. Right? That's better. That was very odd. Very, very odd. I don't know what that was. Oh, that was that, perhaps? Who knows? It's hard to know. Oh dear, okay. We're good. We're okay. We're okay. Oh, we're through. Come on, dude. Get back in it. Oh, he's there on guard. Get behind him, Rokuru. I'm guarding. Alright. Demon mode. I'm, I'm doing a power play. Well, you know, we actually did this pretty well without last event. Oh. Well, things still got time to fuck up, I guess. Oh, he summoned some night night dudes. What the hell? You can just summon night dudes. If you can just summon night dudes, whatever the hell you like, you can't just do that. It's not allowed. Work route, use your thing. All right, great, good job. It's actually you used it on the wrong dude, though. Like you 100% used it on the wrong dude. You should have been using it on this guy. I have no juice at all. Look at this. I have one little diamond. Oh, I gained three diamonds from somewhere. Oh, that's venomization, all right. Definitely stronger than that headless lump of armor. I yeah, he was. Your pardon, not you. <laughs> What the hell? Is 
that the griffin? I told you that no, little bird was the griffin. It's the malevolence. It's a Therian. Actually, that hawk is Griffin, my one and only friend. I told you guys. A damned Therian. So that's what Tabitha meant when she said we'd find out shortly. But your highness, why do you have a Therian? It's like I said, Griffin has been my dear friend ever since I was a child. Even if he's a Therian now, that hasn't changed. So you knew you were helping a Therian escape. What are you? Oh, there plotting? we go. I was like, "What are you doing?" And then the bird landed. It's I okay. have no plots or schemes. I just want Griffin to be free. I guess we shouldn't be surprised. The crown prince and future king, he's gonna do whatever he likes. <laughs> I suppose I am at that. But if I am, it's the first time I've ever been allowed a choice of my own. When you're a prince, you're not a person. You're an institution, one designed to serve the state and its people. Say, for instance, you're doing your law studies and your back suddenly itches. What do you do? Scratch I mean, it. I'd scratch it. Who wouldn't? When I did that, my tutor gave me a whipping so hard the blood ran down my back. The reason being that I prioritized a personal feeling, that is to say, my itch over my studies in service of the state. Uh. Seeing Griffin lay claim to the skies, let me imagine my own freedom. It was my lone solace over the years. But then, he turned out to be responsive to Innominat's power. I take it the Midgand royal family is well aware that the Abbey is creating Therians? Of course. How could we not? The kingdom offers unequivocal support to Shepherd Artorius's vision of reason and will. Even so, if there was one thing I could never permit, it was seeing Griffin locked up and unable to fly. Never. I tricked the exorcist. Interesting, and he could turn back and Therian. forth as well. But then Griffin attacked the exorcist and killed him. That's why you said. You could never go back. Eh, they can overlook a single dead exorcist. But with Etherian removed, malevolence will engulf the capital. I knew full well what I was doing. And yet... I couldn't so you just watch covered the capital in malevolence? Good away. job, dude. Your Highness. He chose a single bird over the world. Why do you think that birds fly? That's what Lord Artorius asked me. My anatomy book says birds can fly because their bones are light and their wing muscles are enormously strong. Birds fly because a bird that cannot fly is no bird at all. And that's what I think. I understand now. As long as you remain on this island, you may do as you please. But if you try to escape, I'll kill you. That should work. This way we'll have him on hand if we ever need a hostage. Understood. I appreciate you letting Griffin and me stay here. Well, now that that's taken care of, let's build ourselves a hideout. Build ourselves a hideout? Can I upgrade it? Oh, can I upgrade it? That would be cool. No? I want to upgrade my base. I want to invest monies in upgrading hey, my Velvet, base. Do you know where Eleanor is? No, sorry, I haven't seen her. Wasn't she just playing with you? Yeah, but then she left. I'm worried because she looked pretty sad. Can you go find her? Why me? All right, all right, fine. Just don't cry on me, okay? Wow. Giving in to a crybaby. It's not gonna work. Yo, Rokuru, what's going on, dude? How's hey, it going? Have you seen Eleanor? Uh, probably. I don't know. <sighs> Bit drunk. <laughs> Just try not to go overboard. But, man, are we a bunch of screw-ups or what? I mean... 
We've kidnapped a prince now. They gotta have laws against that. Broke out of prison, flattened hell of these, tried to assassinate a shepherd. Hey, how many infractions do you think we're on the hook for? Pardon me if I don't stop and count. If you don't like it, nobody's forcing you to tag along. No. I still haven't repaid my debt to <laughs> No. You say that, no. but you really just want to beat Shigure, don't you? Whoa. To me, they're both connected. It's a long story, but I can tell you if you... I'll pass. Well, join me for a drink then? Can't. I'm 19. What the fuck? That... You got... That's an issue? <laughs> that's, that's your issue, Velvet? How does he drink? Does he just, like, tip the sake down his, like, flowing vortex hole? Is that what you do? Hey, how do you drink? It seems whatever I drink, it leaks out. Looks like I need plugs to take some gaps. <laughs> okay. I guess he doesn't really drink. Uh, okay. So, yeah, so Velvet is actually oh, worried about being 19 and drinking. That's odd. What do you make of this part here, then? Hmm. Well, if you pronounce it Loney Kyle, Loney then Kyle. it would mean midriff, which probably isn't right. Maybe Muse Mila? Well, that would make this passage read, Horns are nummy. Uh, okay, yeah, that's not right either. <laughs> What's wrong, Velvet? Have you seen Eleanor? No, I haven't. Sorry, I know I'm supposed to watch her. Just read somewhere where there's more light. You'll hurt your eyes like this. Uh, okay. Right, okay. Uh, well, that's him up there. Yo! Pirate dude, you see the Eleanor? Hey, you got any idea where Eleanor is? No, sorry. I was having a meeting with Benwick and the crew about our search for Eifried. Are you sure you're okay with putting that off? At this point, the Abbey doesn't have much reason to keep him alive. Wouldn't you rather look for him than Therians? I know time is a factor, but we still don't have any decent leads. I think we need to stir up the Abbey and see what shakes loose. And who better to do that than you? So this works for both of us, then? Never fear. I'm still acting out of self-interest. Besides, Eifried won't die so easily. He's a strong man. It'd take a lot to bring him down. Yeah. I've never seen him flinch from a storm. Okay. No matter how... Where angels fear to tread. <laughs> okay. Okay. Shut up now. Thank you. Magalu, where's Eleanor? Hey. Any idea where Eleanor went? How should I know? I'm too busy to spare any time worrying about anyone else. Yeah, you, you seem super busy. You occupied to me right now. Right. I'm busy being unoccupied. You're... what? It's simple. When you have free time, it means you're busy trying to avoid having any business to do. You're too weird for this world, Mogulu. Says the woman with the world's blandest personality. Well, I always figured you'd be the type to take off as soon as things got hairy. So what keeps you here? I am utterly, completely, totally, wholly devoid of anything else to do. Which is to say I'm... Unoccupied. Right, now you get it. Besides, I have to stick around to see how our bet turns out, don't I? Isn't it like a hundred gold? Like... <laughs> it's not even worth talking about, is it? Oh, so this is like all a hideout now. Uh, I guess she's probably outside, right? Like, that would make most sense. Why, why the fuck would she walk deeper in? Let's go check outside first. I think Maggie Lou's hanging around because she actually likes us. She actually thinks of us as friends. Eleanor! No. Damn it. Where the fuck's Eleanor? You know where Eleanor is? No. Oh, she's up there around the docks. Great. Just freaking dandy. What's this way? This leads elsewhere, does it? Oh. Oh, this leads out here. Oh, I see, I see. Well, there's a bunch of cat things out here, but there's no Eleanor out here. And Eleanor is what's important right now. 
Cop coin. That's also pretty good. Oh, what's that? Cop coin. That's pretty good. Uh, can we not harvest that again, I guess? Alright. Alright, fine. Ooh. And the one of those. I'm starting to think that they're not worth fishing. I think it's they're all to do with just selling. Cause, like, I've got a whole bag of shit, right? Like, if I find it. Look at this shit here. Being stabbed can. See, it doesn't really explain much, but if I go all the way. here? There? I don't know. I don't know where it is. I'm not looking for it. When you're in the market, you see a bunch of stuff that just has like a little bag next to it. I'm not sure if that's just like sellable shit. Alright, off I go. Alright, uh, I guess she's further down or further in, like the way we went before. Maybe she's at the earth point. That'd be kind of frustrating though. If we had to walk all the way back down there. Hey guys, what's going on? You guys see that Eleanor? the fuck where does this lead we back here what the fuck it's empty oh okay. it's obviously it's the opposite side isn't it I remember there's two different ways we could go so is she out here on this dock she's not <gasps> what is this what have I stumbled in upon a love so pure what the fuck are you doing out here guys Lavender. It's not a better dock. Look, it's a rubbish dock. It's not got any long sticky out bit. A pier. Is it a pier? I think it's a pier. It's not got any piers. I don't want that shit. Alright. What's this? Silver coin. I guess she's at the earth point. She's got to be. We'll just head there. It's the most likely place. Uh, so you hear that dog barking, by the way. Can't do much about him. He's not even my dog. He's like so incredibly loud. He's like five or six gardens away. Just barking away. You should be out here and there. So that's good. Yo, hello. Great. Cool, you've got a hideout. I'm so glad. Can I upgrade this hideout yet? Because that would be fucking super sweet. Yeah, if you could like like legit just upgrade the shit out of it, that would be super cool. Like get like a herb area and all sort of other sorts of shit. Like that would be so good. Like get a blacksmith for the blacksmith dude, like upgrade it so you'd be able to enhance shit or gain more better metals and stuff. That'd be so cool. I love that sort of shit. I love that sort of stuff. Like, you know, housing or, like, any sort of, like, base upgrading. I love that stuff. It's so good. Right. Out of the door. This is where we got changed. Ooh, what's that? Twelve tail coins. I don't even know what they are for. I can't find them in my infantry, either. Like, I have no idea what the fuck tail coins are for. Maybe there's a jukebox somewhere I can put them in. It tells me tales of old tale games. That'd be kind of cool, actually. Alright, here she is. She's got to be here. Eleanor, why are you here? Oh, you bitch. <laughs> Fuck. Copper coin. Great. Oh, there's a cat saw there. A cat was imprisoned. Like, what the fuck? Oh, here? She down here? Oh, what the hell, Eleanor? Where are you? I always thought I came up this bit. For some reason. Like, that makes so much more sense. <laughs> that makes so much more sense in comparison to what I thought. 
All right, where the fuck is she? I don't know where she is. She's gone forever. Eleanor's dead, guys. She's she's lost to us. She's never coming back. She's, she's been destroyed. Uh, I guess I'll go upwards and see if she's that way. But that wouldn't make much sense, would it? Uh. Alright. Hello, what's this? Oh, it's more of those things. Which are worth quite a lot to sell. They're worth like a, a thousand something. Uh, right, so nothing this way either. Eleanor, what the fuck? Oh, you better have a good reason for this. Eleanor, you're a lovely person. You're a bit stupid. I'll give you that. But this is this is getting ridiculous. She wouldn't be down there, would she? Would she be down there? Like, metagaming it? Would she be this way? I mean, fuck it. I don't know where she is going to be at this point. So I may as well check. I can just pop my head in each door and see if there's like even a green dot. Nope. Nope. And I seriously doubt it, but check anyway. Nope. Great. Great. This is this is super good. All right. All right. This way then. This is not. This is not entertaining. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is not entertaining. I'm just getting lost. Alright, she has to be that way. There's only one way left for her to be. Well, that's not that's not true. That's not entirely true. Have we been up that way yet? Look at this. Have we been up this way? Past these dudes? Like, I don't know. There's someone here. Oh, it's Magaloo. Hey, Magaloo, what's going on? Do you want something? Have you seen that law? No. Honest? Alright, thanks. Great. Good job, fucking Bienfu. The one thing I thought you'd be able to do, and you didn't even do that. Is it up here? Oh, there's a bunch of stuff up here, though. What's this? Hello? It's a fatigue ring. Wow. How cool. Right, BM3, thanks for being useless as you always. Right. There's only one, one more way that she can possibly be. And if she's not here, then she's not even on the fucking island, as far as I'm concerned. Right, she has to... So wait, which way did we go? Did we go straight forward last time? Or did we go... The green way. I think we must. Yeah, we, we went that way. This is the way. This is where Eleanor is. She's over here. Are you fucking kidding me? Tell me. Yes, okay, there's a ladder. I was like, <laughs> tell me there's a ladder or something. Oh, crap. Alright. Eleanor! Eleanor! Yes! Finally! Is this where we finally fall in love? There you are, Eleanor. Kamoan is worried about you. You actually came looking for me? Can't say no to a crying child. Ah, uh, indeed. She may be a Therian now, but deep down, she's still a lonely little girl. That's something I've come to realize in traveling with you all. Wretched demons and Therians, even the Malakim who'd I'd only thought of as tools, they all live and think as humanly as the rest of us. Mm. I was so clueless. I didn't know what demon blight really was, nor what the Abbey was doing. Through it all, I... I knew nothing beyond blind belief in whatever I was taught. Ignorance is bliss, as they say. The 
coward's path is not that of an exorcist. They may say, I didn't know anything, so I can't be blamed. I can't... I can't live like that. I think I'll stay here a little longer to cool my head off. Please tell Kamalana I'm all right. Don't stay out too long. The sea breeze can get cold. <sighs> Thank you. Don't get the wrong idea. If you got sick or something, Kamalana and Lapis that would worry. That's all. Oh, shit. We are gonna have the babbies. It's all misty now. What the fuck? Is that good? I suppose that's good. I have something to say. There's something I've been hiding until now. I've been acting undercover on a special mission for Lord Artorius. We know. I was to watch over the Malik Lafayette and bring him to Abbey headquarters. So vital was the mission. I was to do whatever it took, even kill my fellow exorcists. You were gonna take me to them. I'm sorry for deceiving you, Lafi said. Originally, I was going to get you to lower your guard, then take you in. However, I no longer intend on following the Abbey's orders. You're turning your back on Artorias? No. I still believe in the sincerity of Lord Artorius, that the world he seeks is one that will benefit all humankind. But nevertheless, I simply cannot bring myself to condone the methods he has chosen to achieve that vision, so... I will help you protect the Therians, until I discover the answer I seek. Eleanor! I want to live a life that I don't have to be ashamed of. And to do that, I have to learn the truth for myself. <laughs> so, you live by your emotions after all. Maybe you found your own creed. Welcome to our wonderful world of wickedness. Don't equate us. To act in opposition of one's feelings is to act opposed to reason. You never make things simple, do you? You should be glad I don't. Yeah. After all, she's my vessel. Yes, right. yes. How do you feel about your vessel becoming my wife? So, I think our next order of business is to find ourselves another Therian. Well... That's the extent of my insight. Anyone got any actual leads? What if we no? had Eleanor no cast? Okay. Them from the Abbey? <laughs> okay. That could work. I don't know. Okay. It wouldn't work. Officially, the Abbey still considers her a traitor. So who would leak anything to her? Yeah. Besides, we can't put Lafayette in danger like that. And anyway, Eleanor's terrible at being a spy. Ungracious, but accurate. You know that special underground cell from yesterday? I want to go back there. There's something I want to try. Ugh, again? All right, let's go. No! Just walk there. No! Laffy said, I must offer you an apology. What for? Uh, oh, I just went there already. I was plotting to take you back to the Abbey. I am truly sorry. It was your mission, wasn't it? Somehow I think I always knew. You... You did? Call it a hunch. Besides, Velvet was really suspicious of you. Whenever you feel you're doing something wrong, you start to sweat a lot. It seemed odd. How long have you known? Ever since you became a vessel for me. I think Velvet knew too. <sighs> That's quite a shock. I failed completely in my role as a spy. It's pathetic. Shameful, really. Yeah, well, you sucked at it. I think it says something good about you. Huh? Someone who can't lie well, 
seems like a better person than someone who has an easy time of it. Thank you, Rafi said. I think you're the better person here. I wouldn't go that far. Hmm? What are you doing here, Bianfu? What's up, Bianfu? Let me join in! We're in the middle of something important. Please leave us be for now. I'll be quiet. Just let me hang around, all right? Afraid not. Bien. Madame Eleanor is a mealy head! She's a what? Laffy said. Thank you. I hope we can stay friends. I hope so too, Eleanor. It's weird how they're both looking at the camera when actually, like, they're not. They're like looking in reality, like, well, not in reality. In in their reality, they're like looking at each other. You know. You have hey, Bianfu, well. I have a question for you. I know Magilu likes to call herself a witch and all that, but what is she really? She's an the exorcist. Obvious guess would be that she's an exorcist, but I don't think I ever saw her name in the roster. That's not surprising. She is indeed a bona fide dark witch. I should know. I saw one night just how scary she could be. It's enough to keep you awake at night. Oh. It was near the crater of a volcano. Above the bubbling magma sat a huge cauldron. Inside the cauldron, a blood red liquid stickily simmered, boiling in the hellfire heat. When droplets splattered onto Miss Magilu's cheeks, she just cackled and licked it off. And she kept the cauldron boiling for three days and three nights. What was she making? Strawberry jam. <laughs> what? What's scary about that? I was just getting to the scary part. Instead of using sugar, she put in soy sauce, cooking wine, and liquor. Soy sauce and strawberries? Is that normal? You wouldn't think so, but that contrasted sweetness, sourness, and saltiness actually makes it taste great. Not that someone like you would understand the appeal. You have to have a refined palate like mine to appreciate it. Wait, I've heard of that. You can boil things in soy sauce and wine to preserve them. When you do it with strawberries, it's called strawberry soup. That's right! Actually, strawberry soup has sea urchin and abalone, not strawberries. It's just called that because the sea urchin plumps up like berries. And it's not preserved either. Really? No idea. Wow, I really liked it too. I wonder if the reason she's never made it for me again is because she realized the mix up. Now that I think about it, that's not the only thing I liked that she made one time. Like durian jellies and the candied sweet fish, too. I think I see what's going on here. What does the food she's made more than once taste like? It's just normal stuff, like what you guys always have. Only a truly scary witch could hide that much cooking. So she so she fucks up a recipe and she's like, oh, that's not actually what you meant to put in. So she's just trying to cook and she's like, oh no, that don't work. Oh no, that don't work either. And then she never cooks it again. Oh, we have another one. Okay. Let's listen to this as well. I know this smell. Yeah, it's Prince Percival's fragrant wood perfume. When I told him I'd never smelled it before, he put a little on my sleeve to try it out. I love the smell of the royal family's perfume. It's distinct, but not overpowering. It's made from Fandaria trees, conifers that grow in a snowy land. I've noticed that you and Velvet and Mogilu smell nice too. Do you all wear the same perfume? We do? We don't use that stuff, but maybe you're smelling the soap we use. Oh. Can only the royal family wear fragrant wood? No. Some fragrances, including the Fandaria scented ones, only the royal family can use. But most don't have any such restriction. If they all smell so good on humans, why doesn't everyone use them? So expensive, you know, dude. I've never thought about that. Why do you think that is, Aizen? It's a bit complicated. To explain it right, I'd have to start with the history of bathing in Midgand. Oh, fuck it, hell. A few hundred years ago, people believed they <sighs> would go die teaching, if they took a bath. They were so terrified of baths that they wouldn't even go near one. I can't believe people would be scared of taking a bath. Why would that even happen? Well, at the time, 
A deadly plague was running rampant, and people thought that it could be transmitted through bathwater. Bear in mind that this was all before we had proper plumbing or techniques to purify water. People couldn't just bathe anywhere. Sewers like the one we used to sneak through Logris are a fairly recent construction, only around a century old. Some people even thought bathing at all was unhygienic. Right. As bathing went out of style, the royal family started to use these fragrant woods. Covering up their bad smell with a good one. Yep. As a result, their perfumes used to be far more potent, to the point where you couldn't even tell if it smelled good anymore. But nowadays, nobody actually believes that bathing can make you sick, right? As civilization advanced, plumbing became widespread, and baths themselves became much cleaner fixtures than they used to be. And the fragrant woods fell out of favor because they were no longer necessary, right? To the contrary. As the people gained prosperity, the perfumes became a popular display of wealth. The newfound popularity didn't last long, however, thanks to the propagation of a new disease. One that didn't transmit through baths. Demon blight, you mean? With the rise of demon attacks, life outside the city walls became increasingly difficult. With fragrant woods now harder to come by, the perfumes once again became the domain of royalty. I guess that means that fragrant woods share a long and complicated history with plagues. To cover up the truth of malevolence, the powers that be spread rumors of a demon plague, continuing their time-honored tradition of covering up one stink with another. So, what do you think of the perfume? Do you like it? Yeah, it smells nice. But I think I like the smell of soap better. Huh? I think it's been a perv in that situation. I, I mean, I joked at the beginning of that about how Aizen likes to teach, but you know what? That was actually fairly interesting. <laughs> that was fairly good. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm going to the prison. See ya. Uh, oh, we have another one. What the fuck? There's so this many. This island is so amazing. It's far away from any other people and has so much hidden stuff underground. It's yeah. It's such a perfect hideout. Just thinking about it makes me so excited to be here. Yeah, I guess. What's wrong? You were so excited to be here before. Don't be such a drag, Lofty Set. It's just that this used to be a prison. People were brought here to suffer. If you're worried about how I feel, don't be. If I really hated this place, I wouldn't have made it my base. Hell, I was imprisoned here too, but now it's the secret fort I always dreamed of. I still haven't forgiven the guard who ate all those Maron glaces I was sent. I'll let the past be the past. What part of secret fort are you not getting? Yeah. But it can't all be just for fun and games you, here what? either. Who? In order to maximize Who would send fucking battles, cakes or biscuits or whatever you were talking about, Mangalu, to a demon forward. prison? This what? Place seems sturdy as it is. Who does that? Does it really need more work put into it? Nonsense. This place was built to specialize in holding prisoners. We can make it better suit our needs. What are you proposing exactly? Well, I think we need to start with smokescreen generators. They'll be effective against intruders unfamiliar with the layout here. Of course, afterwards we'll have to clean up all the soot, but still. No thanks. I think we need something to put out fires. The fire at Helleby's was really scary. We have Molochim like you who could use water arts, though. If anything happens, you can just put it out. Oh yeah, I guess that's true. What yeah, we really plus it's all made of stone. Some secret underground tunnels. If things get too hairy here, we'll need an underground escape route. We can put in hidden doors, and even some fake ones to trick the enemy, too. We have two separate docks. That's good enough. No enemy is going to attack without taking both docks into consideration. That's why we need to build underground tunnels before anything else. But we're on an island. You know, surrounded by water. Yeah. Where would these tunnels even lead to? Isn't it obvious? We'll dig underneath the sea to another uninhabited island nearby. But there are no other islands nearby. If it means getting my tunnels, I'll build an island too. <laughs> are you listening to what you're saying? It sounds like he's daydreaming to me. And what's wrong with having some dreams? <laughs> if it means getting my tunnels, here, I'll build an island you guys too. Just don't get it. <laughs> it's okay. I get where you're coming from, but they'll never understand. You might as well save your breath. Okay. 
Okay, that was a good one. Very fun. Well, we're pretty much here now, finally. Uh, next time, we'll figure out what is the mystery behind this prison. And we will... Uh, I guess I guess we'll find out where we're going next from that point. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you like, leave a like and a comment down below. I would be very, very thankful. And I'll see you all next time.